Hello and welcome to another episode of Short and Sweet TV. In this episode, we're looking at Photoshop and how you can work with type. In particular, we'll be looking at the character panel and the character panel gives you a lot of control over things like tracking, the spacing between all of the letters or words in a line. And we'll also be looking at how you can do things like making all capital letters from your text if you didn't hold down your caps lock key when you typed text. So this is the document that we'll be creating. If I jump over to my working document up here, you can see that I've got my background already um, sorted and I'm going to start off by grabbing my type tool. And then if I come up to my window drop down and scroll down to the character panel here, it'll open it up. And it's from within here that I can do my formatting for my text. Now to create text in Photoshop, I just need to come across here on the top of my document window and just click on here and I'm just going to type in the text um, if in doubt. Now at the moment I've just got it in standard uh, sentence mode so capital letter at the start but if I select that text come across and just click on the all caps tool which is this one here all caps and I can now move that text a little closer to the box that it's sitting on top of. So if I grab my selection tool and then just click on the text and drag and position that there on top. Now in order to change the tracking of this, so the tracking is just the space between all of the letters in that line. You can see here in the character panel, I've got my font options here and then I've got the point size. Now to the right of the point size is what we call the letting, which is actually the space between each line of text if you're working with paragraph text in Photoshop. But we're actually looking at the tracking in this tutorial. So here's the tracking underneath. It's that symbol with the VA there. So if I now you can actually click directly on that um, little icon and then drag off to the right hand side, you can see that it's increased the tracking there to 240, which is a little too far for my particular project, but I could also click on the right here and click from the drop down and maybe choose 100 um, to bring them a little closer together. That's looking more like it. Um, or I could just highlight that and type in um, a preferred amount. Now that looks about right. I might make it 125 actually just to give it a bit of extra tracking between those letters. And then I'm going to with my selection tool or move tool just move the text to the middle of the frame. There we go. And I'll do the same thing for the text down here inside the frame, inside the box. So I'll click on the type tool and then just click on my artwork there and um, put in paddle out. Now it's remembered to use the all capital letters here from last time. So you can see that that is um, currently pressed and it's also kept the same tracking. So 125, but I'm going to increase the size of the font. So I'm just going to select the font and then click on the drop down and bring that up to 48 points. Actually, it's going to need to come a little higher. Let's try it at 60. That looks about right. And then the tracking, let's bring that up to 150. Perfect. Now, if I grab my move tool again, and then I'm just going to drag this text down into the center of the frame. There we go. Excellent. So we've now got our type sitting in all capitals and also tracked out using the track tool. This character panel is great for all sorts of things. You can do small caps here, which makes the first or the capital letter slightly taller than the rest of the capital letters. And then you've also got your superscripts and subscripts here. You can even do your underlining um, using this character panel. So hopefully you found these tips useful when you're formatting a text in Photoshop. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial with Short and Sweet TV.